Somebody needs to pay for all my children. Somebody needs to be held accountable, and they need to pay. Hey, everybody. You know, I know what you're thinking. Richie, why do you read these Rube articles? I don't know. Maybe at the end of the day, I'm a big Rube. <laughs> I like to read them, so leave me alone. All right, today, check out this article, everybody. Your vagina should smell, and if your man don't like it, dump him. <laughs> Poor little guy. He was just telling you you stink. Leading gynecologist urges women to ditch abusive partner who complain about their natural odor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jen Gunter, Gunter says men complaining about your natural smell is a form of abuse. All right, that's just a little highlights. We don't need to read that. You can read it yourself, you lazy pricks. All right, let's get to the article. She's had a strong opinion on the recent trends for women cleaning their vaginas with cucumbers and Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> that must really stink if you're putting Vicks Vapor Rub up there. Now, Dr. Jen Gunter, who is a prominent critic of Gwyneth Paltrow's controversial Goop website, whatever that is, I don't know, has hit out at men who complain about the natural smell of their partner's genitals, which she describes as a form of abuse. You know, next time someone tells you your ass stinks, just say, hey, bro, that's my natural odor. And, and criticize, criticizing me for that is a form of abuse. Writing her latest blog newsletter, blog the canadian gynecologist revealed she once dumped a boyfriend for complaining about the smell of her genitals <laughs> that's the luckiest guy ever he's probably like man i kind of want to dump this bitch because you know she's a little funky and she dumps you it all works out dr gunter has urged women not to feel ashamed and feel they have to resort to buying harmful products that create that create artificial odors what well, can you do something? You're peeling the wallpaper off the wall. You killed all the plants. Cats from three miles around are coming to the house and meowing outside my windows when I'm trying to sleep. <coughs> she says they ups upset the vag vagina's natural pH balance and leave you at a greater risk of infections like gonorrhea and even HIV. Well, how many dudes are you porking then you have to worry about HIV? No wonder you stink. <laughs> What a pig. All right, it continues. She wrote, I once dated a guy who insinuated my vagina did not smell right. He was an ass in other ways too. For example, he though, <laughs> he though my hair would be better if it were straight. Sadly, I took the bait. It wasn't. He thought I would look better if I dressed in a certain way. Again, I took the bait. I just felt worse. All that in a stinky veg? Man, how could it get much worse? When it came around to telling me how my vagina could be better, it finally clicked that this is a form of control that men often use. <laughs> I never heard that as a form of control. Maybe you're abusing him with your funk. Did you ever think of that, lady? You're the abuser here. Why don't you put some soap and water on that shit? Fortunately, I am I am an appropriately confident vagina expert, and I had a light bulb for a moment and dumped his sorry ass. You really taught him a lesson. You really showed him. He won't have to deal with my stinky asshole and badge anymore. Dr. Gunter went on to urge women to not fall into the same trap. What, your stinky cunt? <laughs> you see what I did there? Because her gun smells so bad. It's a trap. All right, I'll shut up. She said, I realize this may border on TMI. Too much information. But honestly, if it happened to me, I bet it's happened to other women too. The continued proliferation of what will they insert next? The products on drugstore shelves and the interest in these posts tells me that I'm probably right. If you think you have a medical condition, see a doctor. If your partner insinuates when an artificial smell is preferable to the smell of a normal vagina, they are the one who has the issues. But lady, it's got worms. It's got worms. And stink lines. I've never seen stink lines in real life until I met you, but here we are. 
telling women how they can be better is a classic way of tapping into body image issues. And honestly, in my personal opinion, is a form of abuse. No one cares about your opinion, all right? <laughs> You're a, a, a vag doctor with a stinky vag. Think that one out. Think about that. That don't even make sense. you think she'd be on top of that shit. Dr. Gunter has pre previously stressed that women should be aware that douches are unnecessary. Hanford, she says she gotta go, man. I'm sorry, dude. You heard what she said. I'm just kidding. Hanford's not a douche. He's a saint on earth. And even dangerous, as our intimate areas are designed to clean themselves. Yeah, but yours doesn't. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem we have here. Yours doesn't. If it did, I wouldn't be yelling at you right now. She once, she once tweeted, a vagina takes care of itself, like a self-cleaning oven. Boy. In a recent post, she explained, For what I am sure is the hundredth time, the vagina needs no cleaning. The vulva needs very little. Then explain the flies, huh? Can you explain the flies? I haven't heard one explanation for the flies. I need it! I know the array of useless feminine washes and wipes at the drugstore and the drivel spouted by Gwyneth Paltrow via goop imply otherwise, but I'm the actual expert! There's a, there's a cucumber for you. She recently warned about the dangers of carrying out a vag vagina facial using a cucumber. <clears throat> and then also said that using anything that upsets the pH balance, including douches, cleanses, steams, and vinegar, pH balance, blah blah blah, has real potential for harming good bacteria or disrupting the mucosal surface. Oh no! My mucosal surface! <laughs> what do I do? By damaging lactobacilli? Lactobacilli? I don't know. And the mucosa! Attempts at vaginal cleaning increases women's risk of contracting gonorrhea or HIV. If she exposed, if she is exposed, she said. Paradoxically, it will also cause odor. Experts at the Round Mayo Clinic echo Dr. Gunter's warning and say on its website that it's normal for your vagina to have a slide over. <laughs> Growth. It says the vaginal the vaginal odor may vary throughout the menstrual cycle and may be especially noticeable right after having sex. Alright, let me just scroll down a little bit. Normal swelling can cause a, a, vag a vaginal smell. I word vaginal, I can't get it today. I don't know what it is. I had my coffee and everything. However, it states that a strong vaginal odor, for instance, a fishy smell, might be abnormal and, and could indicate a problem. Here's some shit if you gotta see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> if, if people here you have to if, if people run away screaming at the smell of your badge like jump out the window of a second story building you should probably see a doctor all right that's it what an adventure huh guys well anyway i'll see you or some shit <laughs>